Okay, in chapter 3, we were talked about proportional linear relationships. And remember we said that proportional linear relationships could be represented by an equation, by a table, or by a graph. Um, when we have an equation, it's written in the form y equals kx. k is your constant of proportionality, it is your unit rate, and it would also be your slope. So if we take the equation y equals 2x, if we plug in some inputs, I pick negative 1, 0, and 1. When I plug in a negative 1 for x, y becomes negative 2. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. When we plug in 0 for x, 2 times 0 is 0. Remember, in a proportional relationship, when x is 0, y is 0. They will always pass through the origin if it's proportional. And the last input I picked was 1. <clears throat> if I plug in a 1 for x, when x is 1, 2 times 1 is 2. If I were to then take the information in this table and plot it on the coordinate plane, make a graph. When x is negative 1, y is negative 2. When x is 0, y is 0. We said that would pass through the origin. And when x is 1, y is 2. And you notice our graph is a straight line that passes through the origin. So this was what we talked about, proportional linear relationships. Now the proportional part of this, remember, comes from if we were to take the ratio of y and put it over x, if we put y over x, negative 2 over negative 1 equals 2. If I take 2 over 1, 2. If I were to find that change in my y values over my change in my x values, that is also 2. Okay, but it's proportional because the ratio of y to x is constant. Let's take a look at a non-proportional linear relationship. Notice the equation looks a little bit different. It's no longer y equals kx, but we have a different form of an equation. This is slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b is how we would say that. But in any case, if you just take a look at this equation right here, y equals 2x plus 1. Well, let's see what happens if we pick some inputs. Let's use the same inputs. We'll pick a negative 1, 0, and positive 1 for our x values. If I plug in a negative 1 for x, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So when x is negative 1, y is negative 1. If I plug in a 0 for x, 2 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1. So when x is 0, y is 1. And if I plug in a 1 for the x, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 makes 3. When x is 1, y is 3. So we have an equation. From that equation, we can make a table. And from the information in this table, we can plot it on the coordinate plane and make a graph. When x is negative 1, y is negative 1. When x is 0, y is 1. And when x is 1, y is 3. And if we were to put a line through those points, you notice that we still have a straight line for a graph, but it no longer passes through the origin. This line of graph would actually have a y-intercept that crosses the y-axis at 1. And we'll talk more about that in the next video. For today, realize that you can take non-proportional linear relationships, just like proportional linear relationships, and you can represent them with an equation, with a table, and with a graph. And I'm going to ask you to do that on the worksheet we're going to hand out next. Get started.